What is up, guys? Charlie here. This is a quick review about Okitel K6000 Pro and its features. The phone is very similar to its predecessor, the K6000. However, Okitel managed to make the Pro version of the phone more powerful and competitive. At first, the body is a bit different. The fingerprint reader is added on the back, and it recognizes your fingerprint instantly. The camera is located in the middle, and is upgraded to 16 megapixel with f2.0 aperture and quick autofocus function. The K6000 Pro looks very nice to me because you get a full metal backing, which feels more premium and solid. The thickness of the phone is about 1 cm, since they are powered by a massive 6000 mAh battery. On the front, the phone uses Dragon Trail 2 glass to protect the 5.5 inch 1080p LCD display. The front camera is interpolated to 8 megapixel. It ought to take better selfies. The rest of the design are identical to the K6000 power button and volume rockers on the right side, aluminum alloy frame with CNC chamfered edges, headphone jack on the top, micro USB port on the bottom, the speaker is on the lower back, it also has a 2.5D glass which is slightly curved on the edges. The phone supports micro SD card as well, even it has 32GB internal storage. The next difference is the IP64. It's totally dust proof and splash proof. That means the phone could survive from splashed water, but not totally waterproof. And of course, you will get several upgrades on the hardware. The PAX MT6753 and 3GB of RAM. The phone runs on the latest Android 6.0 Marshmallow. You will have more convenient and safer using experience. The shortcut on the bottom left corner of Marshmallow takes you to the Google Voice search. The app drawer has a new look. We can search the apps by scrolling through the vertical list or tap the alphabet in the search bar. We could even jump directly into the app drawer from the home screen by long pressing the app drawer. If we drag apps on the home screen, an installation option is appeared on the top. At the top of the quick setting area, there is a kind of status bar. Tapping on the setting icon will take you to the settings, but if you long press the icon until you see it's rotating, you just enable the system UI tuner. We can rearrange or remove the toggles. Edit the status bar. And enable the battery percentage. Those is an intelligent battery management function that detects if your device is in use or not, then it automatically turns on. With those of Marshmallow, your phone would only consume 3-5% of battery life overnight. App Standby help you save the power as those does. App Standby identifies apps that haven't been used in a while and put them into a deep sleep. In this way, unused apps won't run in the background. However, if you want to receive notifications from certain app, you can go to apps settings, battery optimization, and turn off the optimization for the app. With Marshmallow, you have more control on the application permissions. You can find out the permissions an app currently has. For example, you can deny it to read your contacts, the phones, or you can drop into permission tab and see which app has access to your calendar, for instance. The phone is definitely a good mid-range smartphone with premium build and decent hardware. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you again.